I'd love to say I knew exactly why Gurney was important to me, but it's, I came across his music at the Royal College of Music and was just struck by this um, sort of similarity in a way to Schubert's music and also to the tonality that Mahler uses, this sort of major minor quality that's extremely dark, extremely bright when, when he's in a happy mood. It's almost overkill and when it's dark it's, it's this extraordinary exploration of melancholy and his choice of poets is often really interesting. Um, I do think Sleep and By a Beer Side and In Flanders are three of his greatest songs. And so I've sung his music in recitals all around the world and lots of people say, maybe it's my response to the music, that it's the most interesting music in the programme. So it's, it's there's something maybe just my connection to Ivor Gurney and the way I feel about his music and feel that in a way he was a bit of an underdog because he was you know, he had what we would call today bipolar and suffered awfully. But I think his legacy needs reviving and continuing to be brought in front of the public so that people can recognise um, who he was. And the fact that Howells and Finzi orchestrated his songs is a mark of great respect of their colleague. I, I don't know of many other composers who would do that for another composer, um, if, if only perhaps out of respect and friendship and, and sorrow that this great composer was so troubled in life.